Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about two things you may want to know before you set up the POE switch outdoor. As you know, the high-risk environment outdoor requires a robust POE switch. The water, the dust, even the moisture could damage to the device. So the first thing, we need to keep all this stuff out of the switch. Now let's take a look at this model, outdoor POE switch. You can see there has water streak sealed around. We need to make sure this water streak seal is being mounted to the graph properly. So when we close the cover and fasten all this screw, it will press the seal and keep the water out. Also, I also take one of these O-ring from the ground. All the cable needs to pass through this O-ring and enter to the switch. So if there's additional port you don't need, you can use this rubber to block the port. Make sure you have closed the ground tightly. There's no gap between the cap and the body. That's quite important. All right, now we can keep the water and other stuff out of the switch. We also need to make sure the hot air can let out. You can see there's two hot air wrench. These two hot air wrench can let out the hot air, but prevent the water sneak into the switch. The second thing is the grounding. Why grounding is so important? It's not only protect, prevent you just getting the electricity shock, but also protecting your device. You can see all these PoE ports supposed to connecting to like the PoE IP camera, PoE access point by using the CAT5 or CAT6. Technically, this, this CAT5 or CAT6 is just a copper cable. It could observe the search around the environment. If there are lighting hitting the area, the search will just spread. And the cable could pick up and transmit to the switch. If you didn't ground the spot properly, it's going to damage your device. Otherwise, it will release the search to the ground. All right, now let's just make a quick testing to this switch. First, I'm going to connect the camera to the switch. This is the PDZ camera. I'm going to use this short punch code to link the camera to the outdoor PoE switch so the switch can supply both power and data to the camera. Actually, you can use longer cable, CAT5 or CAT6. It's up to 100 meters, about 300 feet. So the camera doesn't have to stay just next to your outdoor PoE switch. OK, first, let's connect the cable one end to the camera. And now I need to connect to the outdoor PoE switch. First, let's pass through the grand. Also, the O-ring. Now we can let the cable into the switch. Just find one of the port to supply both power and data to the camera. You see, once it's plugged in, the camera starts moving. It's getting the power. This is the network video recorder. The switch has been linked to the recorder. So we are going to see the video live now. The video is live. We have additional port, so not only the camera, we also can connect something like this outdoor access point to the PoE switch, and the switch will supply both power and data to the access point. It can provide the Wi-Fi accessing outdoor. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.